That's right, Todd. The 2020 NFL Draft set for April 23rd through the 25th was originally scheduled to be in Las Vegas. It'll now take place from ESPN's headquarters in Bristol, Connecticut due to the coronavirus pandemic. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell will introduce picks from his home in Bronxville, New York. Draft hosts and a limited number of commentators will be in studio, but they will adhere to social distancing guidelines. The league previously announced that the NFL draft will also feature a draft-a-thon which will pay tribute to healthcare workers and first responders. Funds will help support six national nonprofits and their respected COVID-19 relief efforts. In Carolina Panthers news, Christian McCaffrey signed a four-year $64 million extension yesterday, becoming the highest paid running back in NFL history. ESPN's Adam Scheffner was first to tweet the news Monday afternoon. McCaffrey would be averaging $16 million per year. The outbreak has also taken a toll on football players trying to get to the NFL. Tavian Feaster, who has worn both orange and garnet, was relying on USC's Pro Day to show off his skills to NFL scouts and coaches. It's heartbreaking to my process because uh, I couldn't really get evaluated um, without the shoulder pads and everything like everybody else uh, that went to the combine and everything. So. But with all sporting events canceled, he'll instead be sending out his greatest hits to teams from home in hopes of just one NFL offer. That's all I have today on All Things Football. Todd, back to you.